In this video, we're going to examine ChatGPT's understanding, or lack thereof, of medical terminology, specifically when it goes beyond the standard textbook nomenclature and gets into how physicians actually document in real-world clinical settings. We're going to take a look at two distinct examples where ChatGPT provides inaccurate or incorrect answers to questions about specific medical terminology. In the first example, we are asking ChatGPT to identify what the term decreased HIF means in healthcare. It gives a potential answer, but even has to clarify it by stating that it may depend on the context. Looking at another example, when asked what the term MS changes means in healthcare, it identifies that it could mean several things without accurately identifying a correct answer and suggests consulting with a healthcare professional. For intellectual property protections of our ontology dictionaries that we've accumulated and critiqued expertly over the last 20 years, we can tell you that ChatGPT's answers are wrong, but to supply it with the right answer, even in this video, would freely enable the machine learning component of ChatGPT 3.5 or 4.0. The Achilles heel that limits these new, highly publicized machine learning applications is a term that has floated around since databases were created and that is garbage in, garbage out. ChatGPT's source is the internet, and it is littered with loads of incorrect information along with useful information. How do we source true or accurate information? It's a big issue that we see in our daily lives. The problem is these AI applications are spitting out persuasive, declarative, pseudo-truth statements as to the correct answers. Because of this tactic, one feels compelled to believe the output is correct, even though it may be wrong. The only way to mitigate this in order to make robust, really smart AI is through subject matter expertise and critique in each particular area before applying the information to its software. AMI has applied this principle for over 20 years and continues to do so, which governs the quality of the output it generates, a very key differentiation. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to get updates on new and exciting content as we release more videos in this series on ChatGPT.